Hey guys, welcome back for another episode of The Suited Shootist. And we are back on concealment today. We are back on the topic of printing today. And we're also talking a bit more about pocket carry. Uh, I had a friend of mine who we were talking about this and um, I've addressed this in some of my other videos, but I felt like it was worth going into a bit more specific detail about this factor in particular. And it's this. Um, I did a video previously about how much printing can matter depending on your context and your environment uh, because there is no black and white on that. It's very much a sliding scale. And so, for example, um, you know, what I've got right now is just, it's just a, a, a blue gun, um, you know, Smith, and, and this is a fairly small one. It's a Gen 1 Smith & Wesson shield in a, a belt-mounted holster. And this is not what I would consider uh, sufficient concealment. Interestingly enough, I can actually get better concealment in the Enigma with something like my, my 365X um, and, and things like that. So it's not just a gun size thing. And that's not a knock on this particular holster or anything like that because it, it's, it works just fine. It just doesn't suit my particular needs. But my point is that the degree of printing that's acceptable for belt line carry is dramatically lower than that for pocket carry. And it's pretty simple to explain why. You know, it's we carry stuff in our pockets. So it's not uncommon to see, you know, some kind of bumps, bulges, something that breaks up the traditional lines of what you would expect to see in a pocket. However, people don't expect to see a whole lot of lumps and imperfections along the waistline. So whenever you're trying to optimize your concealment for a firearm carried at the waist, realistically, at least my standard, is trying to go for as undetectable as possible because the socially acceptable explanations for what's that weird bumpy thing on the belt line are a whole lot fewer than what's that bumpy thing in his pocket. Because, yeah, you can tell that there's something in my pocket. But you can't necessarily tell that it's a gun. And that's the big distinction is it's one of those, it's almost like a magician trick. If you're showing people what they expect to see, then yeah, it's going to garner a whole lot less scrutiny and it's going to be dismissed a lot more readily. So there's nothing wrong with looking like you got something in your pocket, as long as it's not looking like it's a gun shaped something. Whereas, if you look like you've got something on or inside your waistband, most folks outside of the gun carrying space don't typically carry a lot of things attached to their belt. Now, you might have, you know, tradesmen or, you know, some of the blue collar folks that are running like a multi tool, or if you're in a bit more of a, a rural environment, you've got, you know, the, the, the buck knife or the Leatherman carrying on a, on a belt pouch is not uncommon, but those don't look like guns either. So um, it's, it really is something that you have to put some thought into. And what's really aggravating is, and I'd put even money, I'm gonna get at least one of these comments. You're gonna say, well, oh, I'll, I'll just say it's insert medical device here, colostomy, bag, insulin, pump, whatever. There's a couple of problems with that. Number one, most of those devices these days are being built with much softer edges on them, both from a personal comfort standpoint and so that they don't print as much because those are awkward conversations to have. Secondarily, if you're just dealing with some nosy idiot in the, in the supermarket, you may be able to get away with that. If it is a coworker, a family member, or some other interested party with whom you have history and regular interaction, you have now committed to a lie that you have to live by anytime you're interacting with them. 
Are you willing to do that? So that's something that I think is really important to factor in is that the degree of printing and concealment that are required, acceptable and required, not only vary based on the situation that you're in, but it varies based on your carry method. You can get away with a little bit more printing on a pocket gun than you can with something inside the waistband. Because again, we carry stuff in our pockets. So it's not uncommon to see stuff in pockets. As long as it doesn't look like a gun shaped something, you're probably going to be okay. So I hope that offered some clarification. If there's any questions on this, I want to hear about it down below. What have your experiences been on this as well? And other than that, hope everybody has a fantastic week. Stay dangerous and stay sharp.